Thanks, Eugene. I'd now like to invite Eugene Wade to give the balloting speech for Ryan Powell. Sorry? I'd now like to invite Ryan Powell to give the balloting speech. <laughs> Back to Polo, geez. Alright. So, good evening, Master, Dean, General of Rain, and the man of the moment, Eugene, King Him Way, Huge Jean's son, father, and champ. <laughs> it's very hard to know where to start with Huge, but I know this speech better be good, or I'm going to hear about it for the rest of my life. Hugh and I have both started our rain journey on the sixth floor in 2016. Uh, the first few, days, first few days of O Week, I can't actually remember meeting or seeing Eugene at all. And I think this was because my sheltered Tasmanian upbringing mistook any Asian at all, any Asian appearing person as a fresh off the boat. <laughs> my first memory of Eugene was not until after painful, which was the Wednesday of O Week in which he said to me, I, I do my best here, it's so fucking hot. <laughs> it was about 40 degrees that day, and I thought, no Asian-speaking person says that word. <laughs> so I, I decided to sit next to him on the bus back to a rain and get to know him, but he slept the whole way home. <laughs> As first year progressed, I had my first beer, Jeremy debuted the demon, and Huge really started to show everyone his true colours. The greatest gift of all came when Toga Party landed on Eugene's birthday. The night was a roller coaster of highs and lows. Huge was on top of the world at 8.30pm after being four beers deep. By 9pm, Coffee Club is called, and the sixth floor senior tutor, Tom Ryan, decided it would be a good idea to get Eugene on the table of truth. <laughs> Records were set that evening, with Coffee Club ending at 9.10. <laughs> and to quote Dave Curran, that's the worst Coffee Club I've ever seen. <laughs> By 9.30, Huge was adamant that in order to find a lady tonight, he needed to show me sideburns. He entrusted the only man I would not entrust. And for those of you who know him, that is Holly Schwarzer. <laughs> um, at 9.35, Hugh was sprinting up and down the hallway with tears welling up in his eyes, proclaiming, I'm never going to get a girl tonight, all because Ollie cut his sideburns too short. <laughs> Over the course of the next three years, we travelled to Tasmania, Newcastle, Hawaii, Tonga, and Hughes left me for six months to go and exchange in the UK, which was very, very sad. I could continue for hours about many stories that have occurred during this time, so if you'd like to hear, just approach me to Johnny later. Um, so I thought I'd try and educate everyone on who Hughes really is. Hughes has excessively high standards when it comes to almost anything. When you combine this with the fact that he really isn't afraid to say what he thinks, you get interesting outbursts. Examples include, this fucking chat. <laughs> it's so salty. <laughs> Why am I so good? <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> and when it comes to women, Huge has a strict criterion that any potential lovers must match. These include, a BMI less than 18.5. <laughs> Cheese is about 30 plus. <laughs> and an income of at least $500,000 so that he can be a stay-at-home husband. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, Hugh hasn't had a girlfriend since high school. <laughs> I think one of the reasons Hugh and I get on so well is because our sense of, sense of humour really aligns. I'm not sure what to put it down to, but if you compared me and Huge, I'd say we'd place similarly on most spectrums. <laughs> I remember Huge sitting down to dinner last year with Joe Paul, the assistant dean at the time. 
Joe politely asks how Hugh is doing. <laughs> and Hugh responds, not bad, how's your mum? <laughs> But to those of us who are lucky enough to know Hugh Joel, we'll agree that there's more to the man than meets the eye. Hugh is not afraid to say what he thinks. You know, you can always trust his honest opinion. And he's certainly helped me make some important decisions. He's also the first guy to drop whatever he has to make time for his mates, something that I've learned a lot from. He's not afraid to get in, have a crack, and learn something new, and has great determination to improve and get better. We've all thoroughly enjoyed what you've offered to us and Moraine Huge. Um, I have no doubt that the best is yet to come for you and I'm looking forward to seeing what you achieve in the future. It's been an absolute thrill to live with you for the past four years and it's sad to know we won't be within a hallway scream of each other in the future. But I know there's plenty more to come and I look forward to many future coffees, beers, phone calls and life celebrations with you and the rest of the 6-4 veterans. All the best, Chief. Yeah.